Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, what do you think this is? Oh, it's watermelon. <laughs> and watermelon is great. It has lots of uh, nutrients and lots of sugars, and it uh, will keep you going, lots of energy. But most of all, I'm talking about these little seeds here, the little black things. And you know what? I've been eating them all my life. <laughs> I didn't care what anybody thought. <laughs> I just intuitively knew that they were good for you. You know what? They are good for you. And it's pretty amazing because they're good for your skin. You're good for your uh, body in general with lots of antioxidants. Uh, and you're full of linoleic acid, which is really good for preventing cardiovascular disease and strokes and cancer. Yeah, these little seeds can be roasted and they taste great. And if you ever had roasted uh, watermelon seeds, you know what I mean. It was like a lot like sunflower seeds, really. Uh, you can put them on a tray and, and uh, in your oven and roast them. Add just a little touch of salt and boy, they're really good. Uh, they're full of omega fatty, fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acids, 6 fatty acids, 9 fatty acids. They help great for boosting up the immune system. It's also good for skin health and nervous system health and cardiovascular system health, like I said. It also contains a lot of acids like stearic acid, palmatic acid, uh, linoleic acid, oleic acid, and somewhere acids like you find in cacao or chocolate. And uh, these are also great for lowering cholesterol. So if you have a cholesterol problem, you, you know, if you're gonna eat the, the watermelon anyway, which I love, <laughs> you might as well eat the seeds at the same time. Or like I said, you can roast them. It really is good. It's, and the seeds are full of B vitamins, you know, which help to improve your mood and give you more energy and uh, great for infertility. Also, they help to, they, they contain what's called nitric acid releasing compounds or arginine. And that can open up the blood vessels. They can also help with erectile dysfunction slightly. So that's another reason to eat uh, the seeds of watermelon. And... Uh, they help to lower blood pressure. And so if you have high blood pressure, eating some watermelon seeds can help in a great way to lower blood pressure. So that's a really great thing. They're a powerful diuretic. And so if you have retaining water, you know, you're gonna eat the watermelon anyway, eat the seeds and get rid of some of that extra water. You know, watermelon is full of water. It's really amazing. If you hate drinking water, drink, you know, you just start eating watermelon and that's, you know, or take uh, watermelon juice, really, really great stuff. Uh, a lot of people have an aversion to drinking water and you know, put some lemon in it, you know, lemon slices, really great. Uh, but watermelon is another alternative. Also, the watermelon seeds are a great for regulating blood sugar. So if you have a blood sugar problem, that's another thing. Uh, it's full of antioxidants. And then the, a lot of people don't think about, you know, watermelon seeds as being important because they're always throwing them away, but they're full of antioxidants that help to prevent DNA damage and to heal DNA damage and slow the aging process. So if you want to look better, you want to feel good, you, you should eat those watermelon seeds. <laughs> the skin... You know, the oil is really good from the watermelon seeds and it really helps to open up the pores and uh, get rid of sebum and grease and oils in general. And it's not oily, uh, doesn't make your skin dry or oily, it's just kind of in the middle. And it's really uh, great for absorption processes and great for acne. If you have, you know, acne going on all the time, then you might want to make sure you do some watermelon seed oil. Uh, makes a great seed seed mask. If you can take them and put them in the blender, the seeds, a little bit of water, and put that on the, your face if you have acne, really good. And just for skin health in general. Also for, helps your hair to look more lustrous. I had some. 
Uh, also, you know, taking it internally, it's really great for the immune system and the nervous system in general. I think that uh, a lot of companies use watermelon seed oil in their cosmetics, and a lot of people don't know that. They call them other names, of course. You know, see watermelon seed there. <laughs> watermelon seed will last a long time, one or two years, up to two years uh, in the shell. And it's great for also for cooking, but when you cook it, you do get rid of the uh, omega-3 fatty acids. They kind of break down at that point, but it has no real flavor to itself. It's kind of flavorless, so whatever you put it with is wonderful. So that's another added plus to it. And like I said, it keeps for a long time. You can find it online all over the place watermelon seed oil or watermelon roasted watermelon seeds so uh, and of course eat organic uh, all the time because everything is full of chemicals otherwise and i think that's important also other things there's lysine and tryptophan in watermelon seeds now, lysine is another important uh, amino acid and tryptophan everybody's heard about that with you know, of course, turkey and falling asleep and that type of thing. And, and that's another source of tryptophan for relaxation. So I think that's really important. Also, we uh, have a lot of trace minerals in watermelon seeds. And I think that's really important. And phosphorus for strong bones, iron in the, for, and copper for anemia, potassium for... Oh, heart regulation and contraction regulation and good contractions and and um, also for blood flow regulation. Also uh, magnesium and magnanese which are help to create enzymes for enzymatic reactions. You know that there's 37 uh, trillion chemical reactions happening in the body every single second. Is that amazing or what? Wow, that just blows me away. And also, it, you could just eat the seeds in general and it will make you really, really healthy. I think a lot of times that we look at seeds and fruits and vegetables and we think, oh, they're toxic or something like that. But some of them are, but most of them actually are good for us. And even the rind, if you look at the rind of the watermelon, you know, this can be made into pickles. Really uh, a great pickle, which is wonderful. Anybody who's had the watermelon rind pickles, really great. And if you're going to throw it away anyway, I recommend you also do composting. If you're going to throw it away, you know, compost it. You know, back in the good old days, you know, a lot of times we just dug a pit or, or, and we threw all our refuse in there. It was, lo and behold, you know, the grass got greener in that spot. Uh, the garden grew better in that spot. <laughs> yeah. And so it, it's really important that we go back to these ways of working with nature. I think we've gotten away from working with nature and we're working against nature in general. And so we really have to get back into eating totally organic. Uh, you know, there, at one point there was only organic. We only had, back in the 50s, organic. We didn't know about fertilizers and all these different things until it came about a little later. Uh, so we have to revert back, especially with plastics. I see some of the big companies are now pledging to uh, make things, get rid of some of the plastics that they're using and make things a little more environmentally friendly because we have... In every cell in our body, we have plastics. And this is not good whatsoever. In every ocean, we have square miles of plastics there. In every fish in the ocean, there they have plastics inside every cell. And so this is a toxic uh, wasteland that we have going on. And we need to change this. We have abilities to make uh, plastics from all kinds of different other materials, you know. We have... Uh, from from trees, and we can make it from uh, plants of all kinds, uh, even from beans and all kinds of different things, you know, from corn and on and on and on. So we can, and they're biodegradable then. And the, after the last, a, a, a certain shelf life for as long as the product's gonna be around, and then once you, uh, you know, put it into the ground, it breaks down and the, the bugs start eating it. 
In fact, they even have a new uh, microbacteria which actually eats plastic, but uh, I see that remedy for plastic being a long ways off. But we need to uh, allow ourselves to uh, go back to natural ways, uh, find a new way of living. You know, uh, our grandfather's grandfathers didn't know any other way. And we have to go back to a, a whole different way of being and, and working in the world in order to find the uh, sustainability that we don't have right now. And we have to have balance in our lives. Right now we're, we're the throwaway society. You know, we throw away the plastic cup, we throw away the plastic plate, and we throw away the plastic forks and knives and spoons. We throw away everything. And uh, that used to not be at all. I mean, if you threw things away back in your grandfather's grandfather's age, you know I mean, you were in trouble because it took a lot of money to get those things. And so people saved them and they were passed down through generation. And so, you know, people had China that went, you know, went from one generation to another. And people had plates that went down from generation to generation. And so it's really important that we allow ourselves to move to a new understanding of uh, consuming is not the best thing in the world, it's about improving the environment, which is the best thing in the world. And allowing ourselves to change and see a new uh, milestone of awakening. And if we're gonna save this planet, we have to. There's absolutely no doubt about it. So uh, if you wanna get a hold of me, if you'd like to make a, have a consult with me, feel free. Probably the best way is with email. My email is drpaulhader at gmail.com. And it's down below if you can click on show more. My consults are free and uh, would love to talk with you. My phone number is even there. My, you know, you can text to me. You can also go to Facebook under Dr. Paul Hader and message me there. And there's a lot of different ways to get a hold of me, even on Skype. And I would love to hear from you and help you in any way, shape, and form. And also, if you care to make a donation, that is really, really greatly appreciated. And also, if you care to subscribe and trying to move the numbers up. So please tell other people, and uh, I'm always here for you. Remember that. I really mean it. I love you.